If I could go back to being 18, man, listen. If I was 18 again, I'm going to be honest, I probably wouldn't go to school. I definitely wouldn't have tried to go to the Marines. <laughs> if I could go back, I honestly would have gotten into a trade school. Most likely electrician, because that's kind of like my thing, technology. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I definitely would have grinded that field and just worked that field until, you know, and put some money aside, worked myself up. But I definitely would have tried to live off of 70% of my income and put aside about 30% into investments. Because that compounded, oh my gosh, all those years. Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Nick, and I am the local South Florida Uber driver. I'm local just because you never really know where I'm going to be in the next couple of days, months, years. <laughs> but listen, y'all, I primarily work the South Florida market. And in today's video, today, man, I'm trying to rewind the clock of time. I'm just trying to go back. Listen, if I could be 18 again, this is honestly what I would do. But before I tell you, let's cover the preliminaries. First and foremost, if you like that I am a real driver, I'm a real person, <laughs> I'm really in a parking lot early in the morning, because early bird gets the worm, right? <laughs> man, hit the like button, man. It does help my channel grow. It helps people know that, you know, I'm providing some content here. So, you know what I'm saying? Hit the like button. Hit the like button. I appreciate it. And if you're new here, you want to see me post, I, like I keep saying, I'm posting every single day. Every single day. But you'll always know if you hit the subscribe button. <laughs> Uh, you always know when I post, man. So hit the subscribe button so you know. And most importantly, I am a life insurance agent. But I'm not just an agent. I'm a broker. So what does that mean? I don't have just one carrier. I got them all. <laughs> so listen, if anybody can help you, it's definitely me. I got multiple options. I'm going to get you right. You know what I'm saying? So Holla at me, hit the link in the description, let's schedule a call, let's talk, man. It only takes five minutes and 50 bucks a month. You know what I'm saying? I mean, what what, what you going to do with the $50 anyway, man? You're going to probably spend it on food. Why not spend it on your future? It just makes sense. It just makes sense. But yeah, now that we done covered the preliminaries, like I said, in today's video, we are talking about if I could be 18 all over again, what would I do? Now, now listen, uh, I know I can't really turn back the clock. And I don't want to make this video seem like, ah, uh, man, I got a ton of regrets because I don't. I, I, You know, listen, all of my choices, all of my life decisions have brought me here. But, you know what I'm saying? It's always that thought, like, you know, hopefully... I guess the other thing that I want to do is hopefully if anybody that's 18, 20, 25, or even, you know what I'm saying, 30s, 40s, whatever, anybody can get some ideas from me. That's what I hope. You know what I'm saying? That's I hope that my experiences that have brought me here can help somebody else that's in a different place. You know what I'm saying? So that's the whole point of this video. It's not to be like, oh my gosh, I, I missed out on that. I missed out on that. I missed out. Nah, man. And I see that happen a lot with these videos, so hopefully I can do better. <laughs> but, yeah, like I said, I am nobody special. I, I, you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to give you, share some knowledge with you from my experiences, okay? <laughs> so, if I could turn back the clock and go back to 18. When I was 18, well, really 17, uh, I graduated slightly early. Uh, my birthday is in August, so I graduated just a little bit early. Uh, I was 17 when I graduated high school, and right before I graduated, I remember, I remember very clearly. You know, and it ain't no slight at my high school teachers; they were trying to motivate me to be better. Now, 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 I should I should preface this 
Okay, I'm just trying to give you a little bit of context. I'm not going to make it long, <laughs> but I was a bad kid. I'm just going to be honest with y'all. <laughs> I was a bad kid. I was the class clown because I like to laugh. And if I'm bored, I'm going to do something that's going to make me laugh. And, you know, a lot of times it was messing with the teachers. Yeah, you know I was at a lot of times it was just being bad. <laughs> Cause I I I'm that person that if I'm gonna do something bad, it's gonna be worth it. If you gonna write me up, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get suspended. It's gonna be worth it in my opinion. I, that's a, that's not a good thing, uh, you know, because I've been through some stuff that I probably shouldn't have did. But <sighs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> So when I was getting ready to graduate, you know, a lot of my teachers didn't really expect me to graduate. So when I finally got the chance to graduate, it was like, oh, you, you made it, man. I hope you're not going to be out there flipping burgers. You know what I'm saying? Like, I hope you're not going to be the manager at Foot Locker. Again, it's no disrespect to the people in those positions, but it was just them trying to be like, well, since you already made it and I didn't think that you was going to do it. You might as well do something with your life instead of just being, you know, don't just settle for these positions. Always look ahead to higher and better. You know what I'm saying? Again, I'm not trying to be disrespectful to Foot Locker <laughs> or, you know, uh, to, you know, in, in fast food workers. And funny enough, I did actually become a fast food worker. So, you know, hey, listen, I am, you know, <laughs> but so my teachers, they drilled that into me, you know, that last, those last couple months. Cause you know, like once here in Florida, once you take the FCAT and once you pass, it's like, you don't really got much to do as a senior because I mean, your grades are already in. I mean, you know, you might got a couple assignments or whatever, cause you know, teachers got to still teach you. But you don't really got much to do. So those last couple of months, they really just like kind of trying to prepare you for college because that's the goal. They want you to go to college. They want to give you the skills and ability to be successful in college, which is all right. Cool. You know what I'm saying? I ain't tripping. It is what it is. So I remember very clearly them. They used to always, and I had multiple teachers tell me, so don't just go and don't just go and flip burgers you know what i'm saying don't just don't 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 be a manager at foot locker actually go to college and apply yourself and so i followed their opinion i said okay i'm probably gonna go to college but for me i knew i didn't have the grades because like i said i was i was the class clown i was the one that just kind of played around i was suspended most of my years <laughs> Listen, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was suspended for like half a year. <laughs> we ain't gonna talk about it. <laughs> okay, so let's just say I was a C slash D student. And it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't have a whole lot of potential. So for me, I was like, okay, look, I'm gonna I'm make something of myself. I'm gonna actually listen to y'all. And I'm gonna either be, I'm gonna go to college or I'm going to the military. Those were my two options. Uh, and I didn't really think that I was going to be able to go to college. I thought college was boring. I thought college was stupid. So I was really pushing for the military. But, you know, I was like, I'm going to put these applications out. I put about six applications out to a couple of the schools. You know what I'm saying? Some schools in Georgia, some schools in, um, has put some schools in Arizona, uh, UM, uh, FAMU, FSU. And I think it was another school that I put in. A couple other schools, whatever. I put some applications out. I was like, listen, they're going to deny me. So when they deny me, I have a reason to say, hey, listen, I'm going to the military. Now, my if you guys don't know, I have a family. You know, my dad was in the military, so it made sense for me to just go to the military. Now, my dad was, I think he was in the Army. I didn't want to be, you know, again, no disrespect to Army people. <laughs> when you're in the military, you kind of know there's a pride in certain fields. But I didn't want to be an Army guy. I wanted to be a Marine. <laughs> and so I was ready to go. I was ready to go. I, I signed up, went to MEPS, did everything. I was like, look, it's a foregone conclusion. But I was 17, so to get the sign off, I had to basically... My family still wanted me to apply to uh, apply to colleges. So I was ready to go. I went to MEBS, got everything filled out. I was ready to go. Like <laughs> I was like almost one foot on the bus type of thing. 
I was like, yep, I'm going to the military. It is what it is, you know, but I, I sent out those applications and I remember very clearly I got, I got an acceptance letter at the very end. It was like the, like in five days I was going to get on the bus to go to, uh, to go to the Marine Corps base. I was like five days. I was like five days. And I got that acceptance letter. And I remember like looking at my family like, ah, oh, damn. Ah, damn. <laughs> I guess I got to do this, huh? And I remember them like, yep, yep, yep. <laughs> so, uh, so for me, I went to college. And then once I got out of college, I, I did try to go to the military again. Uh, but I didn't have the same trajectory as I did in high school. So it, it didn't work out for me. It didn't work out for me. But um, when I look back at that time, it was a beautiful time. You know what I'm saying? Great networking. Um, I learned a lot. I got to experience different cultures. And I also became a traveler. I would travel. I would get in a car and just drive. Because I, I was a broke college student. You know what I'm saying? So what else am I going to do? <laughs> Listen, I enjoyed that moment. You know what I'm saying? And then after I got out of college, I had a ton of, like, contacts that I could have reached out to that I still talk to to this day you know just people all across the United States that now I, I have potential to talk to you know what I'm saying so I, I appreciate my college lifestyle um but you know once I got out of college was when I started my regular lifestyle and that's when I started applying to jobs and I was actually getting them so I was working everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Like I told you guys, I've been at the bank. I've been in call centers. I've been janitor. I've been a maintenance man, warehouses. This is when at that time, you know, where I started working all of that. I was in it, everything, every position you name, I did it with a college degree. Cause I was like, listen, I got to find my way some way. Uh, Cause once you get out of college, the biggest thing that they don't tell you is you got all of this debt. Unless, you know, you got scholarships or, you know, you got a full ride or something like that. I ain't had that. <laughs> so I, I just went to college with, a, with with nothing. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I, I left with a lot of debt. So, you know, I went to college, whatever, got out of college. Now I'm applying for all these jobs. I'm working everywhere. I'm doing my thing, whatever. And it like it took me so long to kind of find my path which is okay, you know, I was a young kid, whatever, I'm a young teen, young man, I needed to find my way, but if I if I could go back, I honestly wouldn't have taken that path, I would have just got into trade school, man, like, honestly, be like an electrician, uh, HVAC, you know, uh, AC guy, you know, a plumber, because I would have gotten paid, and when I say paid, these guys get paid, and they get paid well, but it's a career track for that. You know what I'm saying? You start off doing your own thing. You work your way up to your own business. You work your own business. And now you, you hire other people. Like it's a, it's a trajectory. It's a clear cut plan. Um, but the way that I went, <laughs> it wasn't so much. And, you know, when you have that type of, when you're making that type of money, you can put money aside. And that's the biggest thing that I, that I would love to tell you guys. If you're 18, Put money aside, but don't just put it in the bank. Put money aside into investments. You know what I'm saying? I can't tell you what to invest, obviously, because of the way the laws work. But let's just say Bitcoin, stock market, something. You know what I'm saying? Like something. You know, please just because the way that money would have compounded, y'all have no idea. <laughs> but yeah, man, I, I don't kind of ramble, gave you a little bit of my life, <laughs> talked a little bit, but the biggest thing I wanted, I want to kind of stress is investing. If you are not investing at 18, at 25, 35, 45, whatever, you're missing out <laughs> because what happens is you put that money in there, it starts growing and growing and compounding and compounding. And you never know when you're going to need that money. So, but yeah. All right. So with that being said, man, I'm out of here. Deuces.